Today we are going to do the lab on homeostasis. So going back all the way to chapter one, homeostasis means maintaining all the internal environment in your body. Okay, so we are constantly getting stimulus and changes from the outside and that will disrupt the internal physiology and our internal biochemistry. So what we have is a whole bunch of different systems and a lot of redundancy in fact, so that we can actually maintain all the conditions just right, okay? Optimum conditions. So there is a whole bunch of mechanisms like this in your body. We are going to focus on three things in this lab. We are going to look at how lungs help maintain um, the right oxygen carbon dioxide balance. We are also going to look at um, how the liver helps with the production of urea and also how we look at um, how we maintain, how the liver helps us maintain the blood sugar. And we are going to look at how our kidneys help us maintain homeostasis. So we are going to do this in three parts. Um, for this video, you are only going to see the first part and the last part. The middle part is going to be easier to show on the worksheet. So first we are going to look at um, how our lungs help us with maintaining oxygen and carbon dioxide balance in our body. So I'm going to first show you what, how we take the air in. Because remember, all our cells are doing cellular respiration. So all our cells need oxygen and glucose. And as a result of cellular respiration, they're making carbon dioxide, water, and ATP. So all our cells need the delivery of oxygen and need to get the carbon dioxide out of there so we can throw it out. Okay? Now, when we take in air, I'm gonna show you the anatomy now. When we take in air, the place the air goes in is our nasal cavity, that's this. And then it goes behind the mouth where there's the, the space is called the pharynx. Now when we talked about uh, the mouth cavity, we talked about the pharynx, it's the same structure, it's, it's the same opening. So our, um, the space behind our nose and our mouth are actually the common space. And then from there, the air is going to go down into this. This is your voice box. You can actually feel it here. The voice box uh, is called the larynx. And uh, let me show you now. The larynx will uh, continue down. This is the trachea or the windpipe. So let me remove the lungs and you guys will be able to see the trachea better. So here are the lungs, the, the front half of the lungs, and I'm gonna remove the heart. And this is the trachea, okay? The trachea is the windpipe. It does not, you can't really feel it, it's way down there. And then it breaks into these two branches. These two branches are called the bronchus. Each one is the bronchus, and the plural is bronchii. So when you get infection here, that is, or, and swelling, that's bronchitis. And so the air goes in like this, uh, goes into the two bronchii, and then the bronchii divide. If you look at this light blue color, it divides and divides into smaller and smaller and smaller branches, and those small branches are called bronchioles. Okay? At the very tip of the bronchioles, you have tiny little pockets or balloon-like structures that are called alveolus in singular or alveoli plural. Now the alveolus is um, the small place where the air finally goes in and from there the oxygen will go into the blood vessel that's right next to it. So there are lots of capillaries here. From the heart, you have the pulmonary artery bringing oxygen poor blood. That is branching into pulmonary arterioles. And those will go around these tiny balloon-like structures, the alveoli. And as it goes through there, the capillaries will pick up the oxygen 
from the alveolus. So you have to remember this is, so the oxygen and the carbon dioxide, when they move, they go from air pocket, from the air chamber into the blood. So the cells have to be really, really thin. So these are all squamous epithelial cells, lining the capillaries and lining the alveoli. If you take all of the alveoli in your lungs and measure the surface area, you have a tennis court in your lungs. Okay, so um, we are now going to look at what happens in these um, alveoli, the tiny little uh, air balloons that are there, and how the oxygen goes from the air in the lungs to the blood in the capillaries. Once we show all that, you have to remember the oxygen then goes all over the body and delivers the oxygen to the cells, picks up the carbon dioxide from there, and then the carbon dioxide goes into the blood and then ultimately comes from the blood into the air in the alveoli and then we breathe it out. Okay? So now we are going to look at uh, concentration gradient.